So you guys are back because you want to keep making stuff with me. So let's get started. Today we're going to make a banana raspberry mango smoothie. Easy. These are frozen bananas, as you can see. All right, first things first. When you freeze them, make sure you peel them. Because I had to cut them all up and now I have like, it looks like that. Okay, so here's another thing you'll need. Measuring cups, of course your knife, milk, and of course, trusty blender. Anyone would do. Reason I freeze my stuff is because I don't like to have any ice on my fridge. <laughs> on my freezer. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. So you want to make, cut them up like that, throw them, grab, throw, grab, grab. Oh no, they're getting smushy. Alright, so now you want to have, so like about, no, half a cup of, of raspberries. You know what? I don't even think, never mind, forget that. One whole cup of raspberries. I apologize for that. And needs a little bit more. That looks like about right. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. No. Alright, so that looks like about right. So you dump it in there. Yeah, perfect. So now we do that. Grab some milk. This time I'm really gonna measure it. It's gonna be two cups of milk. Cause last video you guys saw it was spilling all over the place. And I almost wrecked my machine. So carefully grab this baby. Pour it in. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I forgot about these. All these bananas are gonna go in there. So it's gonna be I already have one in there. One and a half. Uh, two, three, four, five and a half. And now the mango. Let me peel it out. Okay, so I went ahead and got my second batch ready. So now I gotta add this mango to this and add another cup of water. I mean, I'm sorry, milk. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the first batch, we're gonna add one third cup or 80 milligrams of coconut. <laughs> wow, of mango. And I did not cut those two, I got too lazy. So now we're gonna add one cup, a second cup of milk. Let me see where that put us. I guess we'll have to go with a third cup of milk. And I'm dropping stuff. And you know what? Let's go with half a cup first and then see how much. Yeah, you know what? So it's gonna be two cups and a half of milk. So, let me get the lid. Oh, and I never add sugar. I, I don't know, I just do not like it like that. I like it all natural. But, you can add as much sugar as you want. It's just depending on your style, your flavor, and... I used to pretty much just grab a handful of sugar and just toss it in there. And that's how I got fat. That looks delicious. <laughs> Alrighty then, now that I left it spinning for like about a minute and a half, it's time to taste! <laughs> it's my creation! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I don't want to dirty up any other stuff, so I just put it in there. So I'll tell you if it's good or not, okay? You got me? Alright, let's check it out, boy. Hmm. 
It's okay. It's an okay milkshake. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call that the okay milkshake. Thumbs up, boys. And for the second batch, which I'm not going to film, I'm just going to add an apple there already a bit because I was hungry. Alrighty then. Now I'm going to do that batch and see how it tastes. Okay, so I got lazy. So I just threw all my ingredients back into the one that I just made because I'm lazy. Ah, damn it, I forgot the apple. The apple of my eye. Ah! You know what? Forget the apple. I'm so lazy, I ain't gonna even go cut it. Forget this apple. You know what? But I did tell you guys I was gonna taste it. Uh, you guys are making me do a whole bunch of crap. Are you happy now? You making me do this stuff? Oh no! Jack, come back! Jack! Oh my god! Oh crap! There you go. And one more for the road. And that was one whole green apple for those of you who are colorblind. Stop it and see how it tastes. Oh, by the way, I did add everything else onto this one, which was, this is my first batch, so I just added everything on there. And the apple, you know, what's up? All right, let's see how it tastes. This is the one with the apple, just in case you guys did not see the apples get slaughtered in there. Holy crap, it's better. Okay, so that one, it's my better milkshake. So the first one without the apple was a good milkshake. I mean, okay, milkshake. Now this one's the better milkshake. It looks good. I've never done it before. First time doing it. Voila!